Shiga Lakes. You can see the record of Hiroshima 24 and 5. The exact opposite is the record of Shiga at 4 and 25. These two squads, as I mentioned, seem to be going in different directions. The Shiga Lakes on a 12 game losing streak, while Hiroshima is on an 8 game winning streak. Well, after the All Star break, both these squads get right back into action. And for the Shiga Lakes, as we take a look at their roster, they have Kiefer Avena, of course. They'll be looking at Kelvin Martin, number one as well. Kai Taves should be ready to go for their squad. He did quite well during the All-Star festivities. Koya Kawamata is still there. That's him standing there in the middle of your screens. They also have their imports. David Doblas, number 13. And also Jordan Hamilton. Number five. On the other side, the Hiroshima Dragonflies doing quite well. They released Justin Baltasar right before the All Star break. Justin Baltasar is back in the Philippines, but they have Kenny Blackshear, number eight. Number 13, Dwayne Evans. And number 24, Nick Mayo. That's David Doblas there on your screens. Operating. Inside, former player of the Spanish national squad. And Rio Terashima, the hot shot. This guy's a speedster. He also wowed the fans during the All-Star break. So that is going to be an interesting matchup. Doblas. Number 13 on the left, and Ryoshima, number zero. On the right, you can see their comparative numbers. And now we got the players of Hiroshima, the visiting squad here. And now the starters for the squad of Hiroshima, number zero, Ryo Terashima, number three, Naoto Chuji, number se seven, Seiya Funyu is going to be thrust into the starting lineup. That's quite surprising. And then they have their two imports, their world imports, number eight, Kenny Blackshear, and number 24, Nick Mayo. And now, let's enjoy the fanfare as we welcome the Shiga Lakes.
And now we have the hometown Shiga Lakes trying to jumpstart their season here right after the All-Star break. And there you have the starters now for the home squad, starting out with number five, Josh Hamilton. Number seven, Kai Taves. Number 13, David Doblas. Number 15, Kiefer Avena. And number 17, that is Kyosuke Hoshino. The squad here for Coach Yasuda. Coach Asura took over from Luis Gil Torres midway through the season. That is Coach Kyle Milling, the head coach of the Hiroshima Dragonflies. And we're ready to go here this Wednesday. The three officials handling proceedings here. We got referee Udatsu. Referee Tomishima and referee Uchino. Once again, the starters, the Shiga Lake starting out with Hamilton, Taves, Doblas, Ravenna, and Hoshino. The visitors have Terashima, Tsuji, Funyu, Blackshear, and Mayo. I mentioned a little bit surprised about Seiya Funyu in the starting lineup. He is usually the backup point guard to Rio Terashima, but they have them both there in the backcourt to start things off. It's surprising here for this Kyle Milling. Let's see what he's got in mind. Once again, eight game winning streak for Hiroshima. The Lakes, on the other hand, we talked about it on a 12 game losing skid. Nothing there on their first attempt. Here comes Hiroshima. Tsuji, he's a gunner from the outside. Asking for a traveling violation was Coach Yusuda. Blackshear kicks it out. And they're going to get a three there from Tsuji. We talked about him being a gunner. That's exactly what he showcased there. Three to nothing in favor of Hiroshima. Ravenna to the wing, trying to tie things up. Just short there. We're able to get Hoshino on court. Just gonna knock it down. Foul's gonna be called there on Hoshino. Hoshino, the youngster, up against Seiya Funyu. First personal foul, first team foul for the Shiga Lakes. Funyu's a veteran. He's listed actually as a two guard but he loves to bring up that basketball he loves to set up his teammates so technically they've got two point guards there in Terashima and also in Funyu Terashima says it was touched by the defender let's see if it was the gun off the knee there of Jordan Hamilton 
referee say it's a backing violation. First turn over here for the Dragonflies. Taves to Ravenna. They also have two point guards in Ravenna and Taves. Nice swing. Can he get it to drop? No, he can't. It's going to hit the shot clock. That should be going the other way. He hit the shot clock. And they're saying it's a Shiga Lakes ball. That should be ball for Dragonflies. Well, they do make the proper correction. Yarashima trying to set things up, finds Blackshear. Blackshear is another one of those players who comes off the bench, but he's in the starting five today. Mayo falling away, that'll drop. It's five to nothing here now for the Dragonflies. That's the start they're looking for. Coming off the All-Star break, Kai Taves inside with the left hand will fall short. Blackshear bring it up. Nice find on the wing. Tuji another three. A little bit too strong. Seyafunyu. Offensive board. Blackshear will not try it from three. He'll bring it inside, but get denied there by Doblas. Doblas has been playing so well for his squad. They push it forward. Hoshino. They got Ravenna on the other side. They don't find him. And a foul will be called on Funyu. Like a take foul more than anything else. They could get a switch. Okunin is now on Ravenna. That's the better matchup for them. Fades to the wing. Ravenna can't find any space up against the taller Funyu. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. Great defense there by Hiroshima. Jasuda there looking up at the scoreboard, wondering if we need to finally get on there. It's five to zip. Just about three minutes gone here in the first period. Blackshear sidestepping move. Quick hands there from Kiefer. Swiping at it. I'd like to welcome everybody back to the Shiga Daihatsu Arena. had Shiga on the road most of our coverage is the defense there by Hamilton Mayo trying to position himself inside Blackshear they're going to set up their offense shot clock's winding down though Blackshear will have to take this one does he's going to come up short he hit the ring so here they reset that's just too easy. It's now seven to nothing. That's where Blackshear is really effective. Steal! And Teroshima will send this through. That might be time for a timeout. Yes, it will be. A timeout will have to be called by the Shiga Lakes. And now it is really silent here inside the arena. Nine to nothing. Hiroshima on top.
position here at the Shiga Daihatsu Arena. Chance of let's go coming from the fans. Will they finally get on the board? Ravenna tries to kiss it off the glass. It's not going to drop, and it seems like we're going the other way. Well run play. Ravenna just a little bit too strong there. Doblas will pick up his first personal foul as he threw Blackshear to the ground. Checking in is Kelvin Martin. Let's see if he can give them a different look here. They have yet to score. He is their best scorer. I think he had to come in a little bit earlier than expected, but right now they need to get on the board. So Doblas is out. It's Hamilton together there with Martin. Hiroshima. Finds Mayo. Mayo for three. Yes! It is now 12 to nothing. Nick Mayo can hit it from just about anywhere. He's a three-level scorer. Let's see, they try to set up Martin. Fresh off the bench. They swing it. Ravenna's not able to hold on to it. Shot clock down to four. Hurried shot, but Hamilton will convert. And they're finally on the board. Cutting that lead down to nine. Shiga fans hoping it's the start of an uprising. Hiroshima kicks it out. Another three for Mayo. Just a little strong that time. Kai. Then final friend gets it off to Hamilton. Hamilton trying to make his move. Nice swing. Taves for three. That rattles out. Hiroshima with the board. And they push it forward. Early seal. They get it inside to Mayo. They whip it a pass. To Gino. That was a perfect pass there. Mayo spotting the wide open auto. Chase down block. Blackshear not giving anything up. Blackshear inside. That's too easy. Another breakdown in defense there. 11 is the lead at 14 to 3 past the halfway mark of quarter number one okay. this has got the mismatch kicks it out Hamilton looking for another three a little bit too strong on that affair Mayo will bring it down finds Tsuji Tsuji calling out play fist Find Blackshear, Blackshear inside. Teroshima for three. We'll just miss, but another chance for an offensive rebound. That might be a foul there by Hamilton. Maybe so number one on Hamilton. It's gonna be number three. Oh, they're gonna call a foul on Kiefer who hits the bench. We're gonna send in. Yosuke Carino, number 32. Making his first entry. Number 10, Toshiki Kamisawa. Black shoe. Kifunyu. Sagasing for a foul. Hamilton standing his ground. He wasn't going to give her a foul against the local. Shot clock still at nine, a lot of time. We'll get it inside. Alex Murphy, who just checked in, try to score quickly. That's Isaiah Murphy. Nice find. Carino hits. He's a three-point gunner. Really nice to see him in a three-point shootout. How many good gunners we have here in the B-League. Swarming D 
defense helping out the cause here as Kelvin Martin being more active. Active hands there. To the 18 still to be played here in the opening canto. And a foul is going to be called there on Hamilton. Well, we said he wants to give up his fouls against the world imports, but that may not be the best of fouls. Blackshear was about 28 feet away from the basket and actually was going away from the basket there. Shiga now going to be in the penalty with still 316 to be played. Jumper not going to work. Hamilton with the rebound. Going to need to make up even more ground here. They go to Martin against Mayo. Oh, check that. Checking in now is Rio Saduhara. Saduhara played good defense and they're going to give up two points the other way. Coming in is Takuto Nakamura. He just checked in and he scored right away. And that fast break leads us back up to 10. Saduhara is a tough defender. So is Isaiah Murphy. Daves. Looks for space. Will come up short. Tracked down though by Martin. He might try to hoist up a three. We'll bring it closer. Nice find. Hamilton. Yes. You see coach Kyle Milling on the side saying he should have gotten a rebound. His team's still up by seven. Coaching the two-minute mark. Two-man game. Open three. Yes. The defender going under Kamisawa there and paying the price. Hamilton puts up a quick three. Will come up short. Taking his time there is Nakamura. Blackshear puts up a three. That's a quick shot. Three on two break. Guy inside. Basket and one opportunity here. And they're going to say he got fouled two steps away from the basket. There is a foul there. But they're going to give him continuation. Sorry, Dave's Dave's now starting to heat up. That's a good sign here for the Shiga Lakes. They need him to be at his best. Extra free throw here coming from Kai. He's been in and out of the lineup, unfortunately, because of injuries. Same thing with Kiefer Avena. Hard to get into any sort of a rhythm as he checks out here. Kiefer back. That's the usual substitution. Kiefer in for Kai. And then you play them both at the end. Here they both started. Murphy. Swing. Save. Breakdown here inside and Sadohara. That's going to be another layup. Blackshear had one earlier. Sadohara has his first two points and the lead's back up to nine. Always a breakdown in defense here for the Shiga Lakes. That's not going to bode well for their performance here tonight if they don't clean it up. And they get away inside. That will work. Basket there from Daichi Nomoto, who also himself has just checked in. Nomoto's a tough defender. He can hit the outside shot. Takuma, up and under move. It's not enough there in the spin. Nice find. Martin will bring it closer and finish strong. And that lead is just down to five. Here come the Shiga Lakes. After a horrible start, they were down 12 to nothing. And a foul will be called. Kiefer doesn't like it. It's going to be second personal foul on Kiefer. And since Shige is in the penalty, two free throws coming up here. Big boy. Koya Kawamata checking in. They're expecting this guy to be a star. 
Only 24 years old, six foot eight. They're giving me all the opportunities, even in the national squad. Murphy on the line. A little bit too strong in the first. Nice look at coach Kyle Milling, barking out instructions. Final attempt here. Coming up for the Shiga Lakes. An inch closer if they can. Murphy makes that free throw. It's now an eight point advantage. Check that, a six point advantage. Having in my mouth. Guy back in action. They wanted to create here. Hiroshima has two fouls to give though. If they want to use it, they get the switch. Mayo there, all over Kai Taves, and he just had to put up a hurried shot. Only he touched the basketball that time. Not a good possession. And after the first 10 minutes of play, it's 22-16. Hiroshima on top. Welcome back to the Shiga Daihatsu Arena as we got this matchup between the Dragonflies and the Lakes. Solid start here for Hiroshima. And a strong finish on the other hand for Shiga. They were down 12 to nothing at one stage. That's a nice setup. Sadohara scores. He's got four points. Well run pattern that time by Rio Terashima once again. He's done so well at the point. That's kickball. Slowly but surely, this youngster, Takuto Nakamura, getting a lot of playing time. And he's showing everybody why the coach has so much faith in him. Oh, Mata. Nice find. And then, losing possession, there's Martin. Murphy will be fouled. There's going to be no continuation there, that's for sure. That steal was handed to him on a silver platter. Foul going to be called Darren Carino. His first? First team foul for Shiga. Shiga has a penchant of getting in foul trouble early. 
see that's what happens here once again. Takuto. Harassed there. Got away from Martin. Spins and scores. The youngster, Takuto Nakamura, showing everyone. He's getting extended playing time, and he's really making the most out of it. Koya will hit the deck. Foul there by Rio. That's a mismatch. Only height wise. But you can see the bulk of these two individuals. Koya Kawamata is 6 foot 8. Rio Sadohara is 6 foot 4. But he's built like a tank. Coming in now is. Number 77, Naoto Moriyama. 26 year old, six foot four, small forward. Koya was part of the All Star festivities. He had so much fun there. Now he's got to buckle down to business. Trying to get his team back on track. Maybe. Might be a little far-fetched for them to be able to make it to the playoffs, but nonetheless, they want to be able to at least get more than four victories. Mayo back in the contest. Murphy. Find Sadohara. They go inside. There's a double. Nick Mayo scores nonetheless. Just in the nick of time for Nick Mayo. Lead is back up to 12. Matching their biggest lead, which is a 12 to nothing. Awamata once again. That's a nice spin. He did the exact same thing about 30 seconds ago. Wait for the bump and then spun. Catching Sadohara once again. Two quick fouls on Sadohara. He'll have to be replaced. Coach Kyle Milling talking to him about the angles he has to work at. When he comes up with a bump, he's got to protect the baseline. Sending him to the help defense on the other end. Finally making a free throw here is Kawamata. He's now one out of three. Two out of four. Sandohara and Taves. Good matchup we have there. Murphy will give it up. Blackshear is back. Blackshear forces the issue, will miss. Hamilton is back as well. They need a scoring stop. They go inside. Kawamata denied. Kawamata saying he was hacked. Let's see if he was right. Well, Takuma actually got the ball even before Koya was able to go up with it. Good non call by the referees. Taves will track this one down. Looked like they were headed to another turnover. Kai spins inside the defense. Hiroshima was asking for a travel, but a foul is going to be called here. It might be on Hiroshima there. That's going to be foul number three on the squad of the Dragonflies. There it is on the board. So just one more, they'll be in the penalty. And they're gonna give the foul to Blackshear who helped out there from the top of the key. Kai's first. Kai was in an absolute tear to start off this season. He was averaging in the first few games, close to 20 points and nine assists. 
He has since tapered off. And he's going to miss that second free throw. In no hurry. Waves off for Murphy. Gets it to Blackshear. Here's Murphy. To the wing. Tuji, long two. A little bit too strong. Chance for Hamilton and company to draw even closer. Hamilton falling away. That's a wild shot. Gonna go to Kiefer. Kiefer to the wing. Ravenna for three. That's gonna rim out. Ravenna has yet to find his range. Tsuji to the wing. Here's the say Afuni has not yet checked back in after starting here today. Paul be called on Koya. He's gonna be really in deep trouble if he's gonna have to keep coming out that high. There's no way he can stay with Blackshear. First personal foul on Koya. Second team foul on the Shiga Lakes. Six and a half remaining here in the first half. Kiefer Ravenna with a steal, which is actually a gift, and he did the right thing. He went straight to the defender. And that is now going to put Hiroshima in the penalty. With a lot of time. The boys in view can have something going towards the basket. Get some easy shots in the free throw line, but Kai will put up a three. And miss. Murphy with the board. He'll bring it down. And still hold on to it. Attacks inside. And that'll drop there for Isaiah Murphy. He is backed up to 11. Will they have something on attack mode this time? Not settling for jumpers. That's much better. But Kai's gonna fall short once again. Approaching the halfway mark of the second quarter. Hiroshima finds Chuji. Mayo. Mayo will bring it closer. Tries to kiss it off the glass, will fall short. Pretty good defense being put up here by the Shiga Lakes. But they need to score on the other end. That's equally important, especially now that they're trailing by 11. Hamilton. Hamilton has went around the world there. Ravenna puts up a three. That will not work. Blackshear with the rebound. Pushing it down. And he will be fouled. That's going to stop proceedings here. As we get to this official timeout, Blackshear doing the right thing. We saw a lot of space and once again, he found Kawamata. In no man's land, all the way outside, Kawamata will pick up his second personal foul as we step away.
Blackshear is going to knock down that free throw. Exactly 4.46 remaining here in the first half. Blackshear will make both. Doblas back in the ball game. He started out here for the Shiga squad. Had to be replaced after they went down 12 to nothing. Let's see how he can contribute here. Doblas inside. Well, that's how he can contribute. Rolling to the basket. He's a lot to handle inside. Standing at 6 foot 10. Nice swing. Murphy puts up a long one. Will miss fire. Inside. Missed there by Ravenna. He just can't find the mark. Hiroshima. Blackshear thought about it. And that foul by Ravenna will be number three. And he'll have to hit the bench. There wasn't much there. Or will they give the foul to number 17? No, they're going to give it to Kiefer Ravenna. Looked like Hoshina made a little bit more contact. So Kai quickly back in. We're not going to see Kiefer till midway, probably, of the third. Both teams now in the penalty. Tuji promptly makes the first. Lead is back up to 12. Back up to a 13 point lead. We're gonna have free throws the rest of the way here. He's gonna get it back. Hoshino sets up for three. Will miss fire. Doblas tracks it down. We got a brand new 14. And they're gonna use it. Doblas with a seal inside, doesn't get the pass. Hamilton. He should try to operate inside. He's got the size mismatch. Three, not gonna drop. Murphy with another rebound. Murphy has helped out also with three points. He loves to slash to the basket. We'll bring it out though. Blackshear, short. Fast to the wing. Dobla a little bit too far out of his comfort zone. Now Hamilton should attack. Get inside that paint. And there he gets fouled. He fouled. That's what you got to do. Take it strong inside. The opponent is in the penalty. Murphy doesn't like the call though. Oh, there wasn't much there. Oh, the foul's not going to be on Murphy. It's going to be on Kenny Blackshear. That had to be a foul, at least on Murphy. If it was a foul at all. Can they use a coach's challenge here? So they called the foul. The question is, who did he assign the foul to? 236 still to be played. Nick Mayo is going to check back in.
A free throw will definitely help the Shiga Lakes, but they're still down by 12. They want to come much closer before we get to the halftime break. Coaches will try to make some adjustments. Getting into the third. Mayo on the outside. Finds Chuji. That's a great bounce pass. Well run play. And just like that, the youngster is going to score. Long three. Doblas tries to get to it. Suji to Nick Mayo. Rokugawa well, is in the ball game. Number 34 for the Shiga Lakes. And so is Mitani. Two youngsters here being given some playing time. A bit of miscommunication that time. Chuji apologizes. Hamilton doing the right thing there, attacking the defense. Sadohara is going to pick up his third personal foul. He just checked in. That's going to be a handful to handle, though. Yes, confirmation. Third personal foul going to be called on Sadohara. That was clearly a foul. Here comes Seya Funyu. Quite baffled why he hasn't been sent in earlier. of defense once again from the fans here at the Shiga Daihatsu Arena. The team is still trailing. Mayo inside scores. It's back up to a 14-point lead. He gets to his spot so easily. Kai to Hamilton. Hamilton trying to do the same thing. That's good defense by Sadohara, but the rebound fell right back over to Jordan. He's got 11 points. And a timeout will be called here by Coach Kyle Milling. Back to the action here at the Shiga Daihatsu Arena. Mayo and company have possession and they have a 12 point lead. Junior to Mayo. Mayo 
That's just too easy. Isaiah Murphy's got five points in the contest. We've got to tighten things up in the interior. Force the outside shots. Kai has to go inside. Hoshino to the wing. Tracked down there by Martin. Shot clock is at six. Kai might have to hoist this one. If he can find the space. Does and hits! Badly needed shot there by the Shiga Lakes. Cunha says, we're going to go for the last shot here. At the very least, we're up by 12. But they definitely want more. Mayo. They go inside. Murphy once again. That should count. Perfect pass. Nice lob. Let's watch it here. Takuto finds Murphy inside. Let's get confirmation. They're double checking. And now they say it should count. Let's find out. It is. Count the basket. And as we get to the halftime break, things looking good for the Dragonflies here as they lead 42 to 28.
These are now some of the highlights here of the first two quarters of play. A tremendous start here for the visiting Hiroshima squad as they went up and out to a 12 to nothing advantage. Hoshino would check in and finally hit a basket. But they really struggled. Even the youngster there, Takuto Nakamura, scoring on the break. Finally, finding the range from the outside, Jordan Hamilton. Kai Taves with a three-point play here. Nomoto will score. And then a powerful drive there from Martin. They rallied, cut that lead. But then Sadohara will score off that pass from Terashima. Here's Takuto once again. Takuto with a spin. One of the best plays coming from him all throughout this year. Doblas would check in and score promptly. Nick Mayo delivers. Only 16 points scored by Shiga in the first quarter. And then they came up with just 12 in the second. That's why they're facing a huge deficit here. As we take a look at the numbers, collectively, field goal shooting, 51% for Hiroshima up against 31% for the Shiga Lakes. Broken down, you can see it there from two-point distance, 66% as compared to 54%. And from three... Both scores, really, not that impressive. 3 out of 12 for 25%, 3 out of 18 for 16%, but still in favor of the Dragonflies. Free throw numbers, two more free throws for the Shiga Lakes. Turnovers, very good for both these squads. Just four for Shiga, three for the Dragonflies. Points in the paint, though. That's plus 18 here for the Dragonflies at 28 to 10. Bench points? Plus 11, a 20 to 9. Look at more numbers. Rebounds, 23 to 15. And assists, 11 to 4, both in favor of the Dragonflies. There we have individual numbers, points-wise, as you can see. So it's points, rebounds, and assists. So 11 points and 3 rebounds for Hamilton. And two assists for Kiefer Avena. For the leading squad, Nick Mayo's got nine. Kenny Blackshear has seven rebounds. And Ryo Terashima, their starting point guard, has three assists. Going down the scoring track, so as we mentioned, Hamilton's got 11. Taves has six. And three for Carino. On the other side, Mayo's got nine. We saw that in the graphic earlier. Seven for Isaiah Murphy. And six for Kenny Blackshear. Head-to-head -head matchup between these two individuals. Bit of an odd matchup, but nonetheless, looks like it's just about dead even. Two points. And from two-point distance, just one basket each. But Terashima has really come up with good quarterbacking as his squad Leads here by 14, and he's got three assists to boot. Now the fans trying to be the sixth man here for the Shiga Lakes here in the second half. Let's see if they can have a uprising that they can be proud of. Doblas, a little chat there with Nick Mayo before they go to war. Taves will give it up. We might see key for Ravenna at the halfway mark of the third. Doblas inside will lose possession. This is where he operates very well. He's got good footwork. Works there for the big man. 
because that leads down to 12. That's a good start here for Shiga. Can they get stops though? That has been the huge question. That's a backcourt violation. Dave's doing his share. Back here actually could have just jumped from his front court. He tried to make the save, but he jumped, caught the ball, and landed in the backcourt. That's clearly a backing violation. Hoshino for three. No. So the shot they've got to make. Blackshear for three. Yes. And just like that, that's the biggest lead in the ball game here at 45 to 30. Reina will give it up. And run to the opposite end. Moving well without the basketball. Here, he's going to force up another three. He had to. Shot clock was winding down. I was going to be called there on Seafunyu. Or are they going to say it's Doblas there? Doblas might be called for second motion there. As he made contact with Funyu. So far is going to be called on Seiya. Well, they might review this one. And they are reviewing it. It's not a coach's challenge, though. And that might be a technical foul. Could also be an unsportsmanlike. Let's see what the referees deem. Eight thirty-six to be played here in the third period. It is 45 for Hiroshima, 30 for the Shiga Lakes. In the hot seat right now is that gentleman there, David Doblas. Former member of the Spanish national squad. Here it is once again. Got a little heater there. Inadvertent elbow. Now you saw exactly what happened in that outburst. And they're going to say it's an unsportsmanlike foul. And you have to agree. That was excessive. Well, he continues to bleed his case, but again, an outburst like that That is going to be the result every single time. So with the unsportsmanlike like foul, it's going to make, it's going to be two free throws plus ball possession. So from 15 points, it could go to 17, could even go to 20 if they hit a three. Say Afunio on the line for two shots. His back's going to hurt, though, when he gets up tomorrow morning. That's for sure. So Coach Yasuda being briefed on exactly what transpired. So they're going to call an unsportsmanlike foul there on David Doblas. Two free throws here for Seiya Funyu, and they'll get ball possession.
The TF Unyu will have to have been called also for a loose ball foul there. When he makes the first, that'll add to their tally. Doblas there apologizing. The crowd appreciates that. All these gentlemen trying to make a living. When he makes both. And now they're going to get possession. Should be a side court inbound. here shot clock reads 14 seconds that's the right one unless they're going to inbound from the backcourt that's going to be a 24 second shot clock then given to them okay there they gave me the correction so they say the unsportsmanlike foul happened on this side of the floor so they have a baseline inbound Mayo comes out, two-man game, Hiroshima. Fuji back to Rio, Blackshear, Rio. That's from 28 feet, count it. As we said, could be a 20-point lead, and it is at 50 to 30. That's a big call. That yielded five points to the opponent. That's already up by 15. Nice spin by Kai. Foul will be called on Terashima. Good spin, clearly a foul there. There was help. Didn't have to commit that foul. Hamilton for three, offline. Blackshear. Oh! Suddenly a breakdown there. Looked like Blackshear was getting ready to track it down, but he let it go. And then Hamilton found himself all by his lonesome. That's a well-run play. Just like that, the lead is back up to 20. Doblas, ceiling inside. Foul's going to be called there, Nick Mayo. There's the contact there. Douglas, a little bit taller here than Mayo. Let's see if they try to go to him. Doblas gets denied there by the ring, but Seafunyu will be called for a foul. Blackshear complaining, saying he was thrown out of the way. That worked out perfectly. Third personal foul going to be called on Seiya as he adjusts his hair. Two free throws now here for David. He'll make that first. The game has really come to a crawl. And it might be even slower here as Hiroshima gets into the penalty. With seven, 17 still remaining in the third. Shiga try to take advantage of this situation. That's a whole lot of time to be in the penalty. Changing up their defense a little bit. Putting some pressure in the backcourt. That's going to be a foul on David. He cannot stay in step with Blackshear that high out. Got him on the switch. And that's a good foul. Third personal foul though, David. Blackshear will bring it closer. And he'll get that to drop. 11 points now here for Kenny Blackshear in this contest and a timeout will be called 
by the Shiga Lakes. They're not making any headway. Welcome back to the Shiga Daihatsu Arena. Spanking new arena here. Let's see if they can, it can actually help inspire the Shiga squad to come back as they now trail by 20. That's gonna be a foul, clearly oh, a you just can't throw an individual to the ground. They're going to be called every single day of the weekend, twice on Sundays. He just ran over Nomoto. And as we mentioned, they're in the penalty. So Nomoto will be on the line for two shots. Daichi Nomoto has contributed two points, one rebound, and one assist. As he knocks down that first. Nice look there at Coach Yasuda. He's got his work cut out for him here. Not just tonight, but for the rest of the season. Split from the line. Hiroshima will give it up to Mayo. Funyu. Blackshear. Nice seal. Mayo. Hands it off. Terashima gets fouled. Asking for a foul. Referee say play on. Now a chance for the Lakes to come back. Kiefer Ravenna getting ready to check back in. The pass stolen there by Mayo. Blackshear sends it forward. Big slam, not gonna work that time for Mayo. They're gonna reset. That would have been a huge highlight. Here's Blackshear. Easy two-handed slam. It's now a 21-point advantage. That's a big three. That will help. Hamilton, they need him to start heating up. He now has 16 points. Another handoff. And Nick Mayo's gonna score. And a three point play in the offing here for Nick. Moving so well without the basketball are the Dragonflies. And it's worked quite well. They've gotten so many layups. Foul's gonna be called there on Kai. Watch it drop. And Mayo on the line for an extra free throw. He's trying to get this. Back up to 21. Kiefer Avena in action. And they send in Nakamura, the youngster, once again. Mayo can't convert. Still a lot of time remaining here in the third. It's because of the early foul trouble here for Hiroshima. 
Hamilton puts up another three and hits. That's gonna cut the lead down to 17. That's a great sign for the Lakes. If he, together with Hamilton, check that, Hamilton and Martin can both start to erupt here. Blackshear almost traveled. Safely gets it out. Nakamura with a jumper will miss fire. Hamilton with the board. Here come the boys in blue looking for more. Kai with a miss pass. No look pass. Seyafunyu knew exactly what he needed to do and cutting straight under was Takuto. He's back up to 19. Kifu with a handoff. Ends up with Kai. Now with Kiefer. Martin's got to get going. And he knows it. Nice pass. And they're going to get another three. Moriyama knocks that one down. And that leads down to 16. Once again, they go inside. But Moriyama, they're going to say it won't count. But Blackshear will be fouled. And that's going to mean both teams are now going to be in the penalty. They're asking for continuation. None is going to be given. That's the right call. So now both teams in the penalty for the final 348. Hamilton coming out a little bit too high. Sadohara inside will miss fire. He'll get his miss. So just one import here, and Kenny Blackshear will score once again. For the squad of the Dragonflies, they have no Dwayne Evans. He's actually sitting at the back of the bench out with an injury. But it doesn't seem to matter to their squad right now. Everybody's stepping up, and they're up again by 18. Jordan to the wing. Kai forces that one up. And they're going to say an offensive foul on Martin. Watch the action inside. He just shoves Takuto out of the way. First personal foul on Martin. Martin has not gotten into any sort of a rhythm here. He's only got two points. He does have three rebounds and one assist, though. Look at that ball movement. Moriyama comes in the way, though. Nice steal. Can they score? Ravenna inside. A little bit too strong in that layup. Ravenna just can't buy a basket here today. He only has a rebound and two assists. Open three. A little bit too strong. Ravenna with the board. Trying to push it up. Kai almost lost it. Eventually does. Sadohara. Easy layup there by Blackshear, and a timeout will have to be called by the Shiga Lakes. Just when it looked like they were making a rally, they've cut the lead down to 16. They give up four straight points, and the lead is back up to 20.
Savannah's gonna bring it down. Approaching a two minute mark here in the third. And they have another mountain to climb at 20. A pass fielded there by Hamilton. He gets away for two inside. And she'd be an assist for Ravenna. How about threading the needle on that pass? Murphy back in action with Sadohara. They're playing without an import. Late call, but Terashima's gonna head to the line. Nope, check that. That is his backup, Kamisawa. He definitely got sandwiched there. The free throws coming up here for Toshiki Kamisawa. Gonna bring this lead back up to 20. He's gonna miss fire in the first, though. They're going to give the foul to Kiefer. He was the farthest away from that play. I would have thought that's going to be a foul on Daichi Nomoto. Well, they change it. So it is on Nomoto. Leads back up to 19. Martin on the outside gets it back to Kiefer. They need to get Martin involved here. Moriyama inside that paint finds Kiefer. Kiefer with a floater. That's going to drop. Kiefer again his first two points in the ball game. They're going to need a whole lot more from Kiefer and company. Sadohara almost lost it. Eventually they do. Kiefer on the break. Three and one. Hamilton inside. A timeout will be called here by Hiroshima. Coach Kyle Milling senses trouble. Under a minute to be played here before the end of the third. A little bit of a gamble really played by Coach Kyle Milling. I'm not quite sure why you wanted to rest both your imports. Yes, I know there is no Dwayne Evans, but at least keep one import inside. And right now they pay the price with that lead being cut down to 15. Mayo's back. And he promptly scores. No, he doesn't. How did that not stay down? 14 seconds in the shot clock once again here for Nick and company. A 
extra pass. Murphy can hit this shot. Just not that time. Look at a power rebound there from Nick Mayo as he got hit in the face. Can somebody stop the play? Didn't seem like there's a foul. Watch this power rebound here for Nick Mayo. Getting really high up there. So foul is going to be called there on Takuto. The free throws coming up here. Nick Mayo heading over to the referee, pleading his case. Saying, come on, I can't miss from point blank range without getting fouled. But Hamilton will miss that first free throw. 20.4 seconds remaining here in the third. Expect Hiroshima to take the final shot. Two misses there. That would have brought it down. Could have brought it down to 13. In for the first time is Shogo Asayama. He's at the corner. They're letting Nakamura handle. Finds Asayama. Asayama saying, I got fouled. Referees say, not enough for us to blow the whistle. Three quarters done here at the Shiga Daihatsu Arena. And it's 65 to 50, still in favor of the Dragonflies. Fourth quarter is upon us as we welcome everybody back to the Shiga Daihatsu Arena in the lakes. We come up with a monumental comeback here. Darashima's gonna get away for two. No, but Nick Mayo's there for the putback. And a three point play in the offing here. Mayo trying to catch his breath here. Coming out of nowhere for that offensive rebound and putback. He gets fouled there by Hamilton. Watch it from another angle. Hard to box out somebody that comes out from way out there. Hamilton didn't even see him. So Mayo's okay. They can't afford another injury because they already don't have Dwayne Evans. Who's sitting at the back of the bench. Lead. Back up to 18 after a three point play. 
Moriyama needs to hit this one and does. He's gonna cut it back down to 15. Still within striking distance. Lead pass. And they're gonna set it up. We thought with that lead pass, Mayo is gonna try to ignite the offense. Blackshear with a spin and hits. And they used a whole lot of clock there. Ben almost lost it. And get it to Hamilton. Martin trying to position himself. Black Shear almost a steal. He apologized there to the fan. Came down hard. Almost trampled the lady. And her companion. Blackshear has been all over the place. Ravenna, quick move. Finds Hamilton. Hamilton inside. Nice tip in there by Martin. Hamilton staring at the referee, asking for a foul. And he's been cut down to 15 once again. They get it past the timeline. Two Gijas. Another nice cut. Nick Mayo. That's not going to drop. Twice already this game. He's missed from point blank range. That ball just being spit out. For Venom. Asking for a pick. Doesn't get it. Moriyama puts up a 17 footer. Will miss. Two minutes quickly gone here. In the fourth and final period. Hiroshima. Finds Mayo. Now inside to Blackshear once again. What an odd spin. And he caught the defense that time. Everybody expecting him to come up with a jump hook. And back to his left hand. Answer back. Hamilton. Kent. That's going to stay here in this end. Asayama with the last touch. And again, Hamilton saying there was contact. Let's see. Well, he forced the issue there. You understand where the referees were coming from. He got into the body. Trying to force the call. As he gets replaced, Doblas will check in. David to the wing. Nomoto. Back inside. Underhanded pass and an easy slam there for Martin. Blackshear. Gives it up. Asayama will wait for the rest of the troops and set it up. And use clock as well. Under seven to be played here. Blackshear once again. Blackshear goes to his left hand. That's not going to drop, but... Moriyama will pick up a personal. That's going to be his second. His eyes just lit up when he saw Moriyama on him. That's what you got to do. When you've got a local guarding you, take advantage. Second personal there, Naoto Moriyama. Moriyama saying, I just had my hands up. Kai Taves will check in. They gotta make their move now. Talking about the Shiga Lakes. Two free throws now for Kenny Blackshear. He's got 21 points. A very good offensive output here for Blackshear, despite the fact that he missed that free throw. He really has to pick up the slack because we don't have any Dwayne Evans. He's going to miss both. Doblas with a rebound. I 
for the turnover numbers. Seven here for the Dragonflies, nine for Ishiga. These are pretty good numbers. That's the foul going to be called there in Mayo. That's going to be number three on Nick. That's a good strategy. A bit of a chicken wing there. Coming from David Doblas. It might be a foul on Kenny Blackshear. He can't believe it. That's why he has a funny smile. Those are just two players jostling for position. That's going to be the third on Blackshear. Doblas. Delayed pass, not going to work. Foul's going to be called there on Nomoto. Just to stop the play. Not quite sure that's a good foul because that's going to be their third. And at the same time, Chuji wasn't even actually trying to make a run for this offensive end. So just one more, they're going to be in the penalty once again. Chuji finds Terashima. Terashima hits! points now in the contest for Rio Terashima. Four minutes gone here. Doblas. No look pass to the wing. Nomoto. Back here to Martin. And an offensive foul is going to be called there on big man Doblas. He's really forcing the action. Trying to be extra physical. That's going to be number four. And that is going to put them in the penalty. And he continues to complain. He might get a technical. He's got to be careful. Open three. Asayama converts. And the lead is back up to 21. And now, time starting to be a factor. Dave's bounce pass, Martin. Moriyama had to force that one up and hits. It's gonna cut the lead down to 18. Stop here, that's for sure. Blackshear to Terashima. Terashima finds Blackshear. Blackshear over to Mayo. Mayo gets denied. They got the stop. Moriyama. That was a heat check. Kiefer will bring it out. Under five to be played. Kiefer will try to attack. That's a good move. Gets a foul there from Mayo. That's going to be number four. And then we come back. Watch his move here. Kiefer. That's a great fake. Made sure there was contact. Free throws coming up here for Ravenna. When we return.
Nice smile there from Kai Taves, but really nothing that they should be smiling about because they have a lot of ground to make up if they want to come away with a W here. David Doblas back on the bench. Ravenna on the line for two shots. He has not had a very good output here offensively. Makes that first free throw though. He does have five assists and three boards. Kiefer now for point number four this evening. That'll cut it to 16. And the crowd really chanting defense there. And they need it now more than ever. Naoto finds Blackshear. Blackshear to the wing. Asayama. Finger roll not going to work, but Blackshear is there. Basket of one opportunity. What a time for that to happen for Kenny Blackshear. He had the inside track. Fell right to his lap. Martin also not having a good day. Only with six points. Now a 23 points for Kenny Blackshear Jr. Could be 24. It is. Lead is back up to 19. If they're not able to get this down to about 12 in the next minute and a half, Shiga's going to fall to another loss. And fortunately for them, that'll be their 13th straight. Martin gets away inside. Terashima in no hurry. The clock is now their friend. Tsuji. If they hit one more basket, it could be over. Asayama inside. The players of the Dragonflies have just been moving so well without the basketball. They've gotten so many layups. Ravenna inside. That'll drop. But Kiefer and company need to come up with stops. Approaching the three-minute mark. Kyle Milling was about to send in Kamisawa and then thought otherwise. Murphy from the wing hits that three and the lead is back up to 20. And that should just be it. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Especially if they're not able to score here. Talking about Shiga. They send the double. Kai. To Jordan. Jordan. Will score. That's going to cut the lead down to 18. But they used so much time. 25 points here for Jordan Hamilton. But albeit in a losing effort. And now Terashima says, let's use clock. Nice find. Naoto for three. Short. Alex Murphy. Check that. Isaiah Murphy. Alex plays for another team. This is Isaiah. That foul from Isaiah will put them in the penalty as well. But just 155 remaining. Nick Mayer will check back in just for good measure. He will replace Kenny Blackshear, whose day's done. Now they can go without an import if they want. Sefunyu back as well. Murphy with the board, hands it over to Mayo, and they're going to walk it up. Victory number 25. Coming up here for the Dragonflies. Funyu inside. Couldn't get that to drop, but he's got two free throws coming up. 
Say Afunio was a starter here today, usually coming off the bench. Carino picks up his second personal. So Coach Kyle Milling will pick up another W. This will be their ninth straight victory. As they try to stay on top of the standings. Just chasing the Chiba Jets. Unfortunately for the Filipino fans, they were looking forward to seeing Justin Baltasar, who was on this squad to start of the season, but he has since been released. He's back in the Philippines. Lead is back up to 20. Off those two free throws, and Funi will be replaced. Coming in is the youngster, Keijiro Mitani. Just trying to battle for the final score here. Hamilton trying to add to his tally. Why not? Makes that spin. A foul will be called. Kamisawa try to come from the blind side. That's a good strategy. So they say the foul came first because there was a little bit of a travel as well. First for Kamisawa. So Hamilton will head to the line to add to his point total. These are garbage points though. As he picks up his 26 marker, he also has seven rebounds and two assists. That's the other young player for the squad of the Shiga Lakes. That was Hayato Wakugawa. Murphy will bring it down. Coach Kyle Milling says, don't even attack. Show me how well you can dribble. Putback's not going to work. Hamilton inside. Ravenna will score. Time for just one possession each. Ravenna now will finish with eight points, three boards, and five dimes. They might not even take a shot, or will they? Sadohara just might. He's going to issue. Oh, that should have been a turnover, but trying to have the final say here. And a foul will be called on Sadohara. Sadohara is going to pick up his fourth personal. Should have just given him the two points. Three point one. Remaining here. Ooh, coming to come up short there is Hamilton. Just wanted to end scoring here. They're going to have the final say. Sadohara will just hold on to this one. And that is your final score, 88. To 73, Coach Kyle Milling and company will pick up victory number 25 against five setbacks. This middle of the week encounter between the Dragonflies and the Lakes as we begin the second half of our season. Coming off the All-Star festivities last weekend, there's Dwayne Evans. He looks okay but yet not ready for action. We're going to hear from Coach Kyle Milling in a bit as you try to set things up to listen to him and some of the stars of the Dragonflies here this Wednesday night. There's the quarter scoring. Only the fourth 
was tied at 23. There's Dwayne Evans. Dwayne Evans can give you a good 15, 18 points every night. With him not playing, Mayo had to pick up the slack. And so did Kenny Blackshear Jr. Coach Kyle Milling saying, where do I head for my interview? Well, right now we're gonna have the Shiga Lakes talking to their fans here at the Shiga Daihatsu Arena. Unfortunately, it's going to be another loss. 13 straight. As we are getting set for the winning coach. Nothing really but thanks and apologies here for the Shiga Lakes about their performance tonight. They'd like to thank the fans once again for their support, but again, it's going to be another loss here. As we wait for Coach Kyle Milling, let's take a look at the leading scorers for both these squads. Well, here is Coach Kyle. あ、本日の勝利おめでとうございます。ありがとう。こんばんは。ボンジュール、ジュリエット、君でがと。え、もう今日もあの、危なげないえ、広島らしいえ、ゲームだったと思いますが、え、振り返っていかがでしょうか。
そうです本当にあのチームとしてもしっかりと出だしから集中して出だしてきたんじゃないかなと思いますし本当に全員がですね集中して一つ一つのプレーしっかりと遂行できたんじゃないかなと思います本当に僕だけじゃなくて本当にチームの勝利だと思っていますし本当に今週合わせて8勝か9勝連勝だと思います本当に素晴らしい勝利だと思っていますあのブラックシア選手のいろんなシュートが見れて私も嬉しかったですファンの皆さんに一言チームに向けてお願いします。Um, thank you all for your support.、Um, this first year in Japan has been really great.、Um, just being able to come out and compete for you guys each and every night, seeing you guys in,、um, in local areas.、Um, just the congratulations and the encouragement that you guys give has been really special. So thank you. 本当にあのいつもいつもファンの皆様サポート本当にあ,のありがとうございますあの広島のですねファンの皆様の熱い声援がこちらも届いていますし本当にホームアリーナの素晴らしい声援もですね私は本当に大好きなので次ホームゲームですね本当にしっかりと次もですね頑張っていきたいと思っていますはいどうもありがとうございました Thank you Let's see if you've got another interview coming up or if you're going to go through the highlights of this match that just transpired. A victory here for the Hiroshima Dragonflies up against the hometown Shiga Lakes. And here come the highlights. A dominating performance. That was started out here. By the Dragonflies, they got off to a 12 to nothing start and they've never looked back. Steal here from Terashima and he converts. Nice swing, and Hamilton will convert. Hamilton would finish with 28 points, but really, he was the only one that was scoring against the defense of the Dragonflies. Nomoto with his only two points of the game. Wasn't that bad of a start, really, in the entire first quarter, as we see. Nice power move there from Kelvin Martin. First quarter ended 22 to 16, so just a six point deficit after being down by 12. But then, only scoring 12 points in the second quarter was Shiga, while allowing Hiroshima to score 20. So all of a sudden, after being down by just six, they were down by 14. Doblas had his moments. Mayo would score once again. Mayo, together with Kenny Blackshear, really made up for the loss here tonight of Dwayne Evans. Kai Taves will score. At the half, it was 42 to 28. David Doblas almost lost possession there, but shows us his fancy footwork. They weren't really able to come up with any stops, and Kenny Blackshear would hit from the outside. Look at the leading scorers for both these squads. Hamilton would lead all scorers with 28. But Moriyama was the next leading scorer at 9, and then 8 for Kiefer. For the winners, Blackshear would have 24, Nick Mayo would have 14. And Terashima had 10, so right there, the top three scorers all in double digits. When we look at the rebounding story, eight rebounds for Hamilton, Kai Taves had six, and David Doblas had five. Kenny Blackshear with a double double because he had 11 boards. Nick Mayo had seven, and Rio Terashima had five. And in the assist department, Kiefer Avena would lead all dimes, he had six. Three for Hamilton and two for Kai Taves. Five for Blackshear. And four apiece for Terashima and Nakamura. Kiefer found his range, but a little bit too late. Here he is leading the break. 
finds Hamilton for those two points. Another nice find. That's why Ravenna finished with six. This is that nice move inside. Faking right and then eventually going left here for Blackshear. Slam coming up there from Kelvin Martin. Martin did not have a good scoring night. Tsuji sets up Terashima there. Force three. Moriyama converts. Martin started to find his rhythm in the fourth, but it was a little too late. Ravenna there with a layup. That would end his scoring night. But just moving so well without the basketball and moving that basketball well around the perimeter as well. As Isaiah Murphy hits that three. That's going to end scoring. And a terrific effort for Jordan Hamilton with 28 points. But it is going to be in a losing effort. As we have the numbers. Collectively. 50% shooting for Hiroshima as compared to 46%. And broken down there it is in your screens. You can see 56% as compared to 63%. So look at Shiga. Shiga actually had a better shooting percentage. But they shot nine less field goals from two. From three, exactly the same at eight conversions. Better rate though, better clip coming here from the Dragonflies. Turnovers, 11 there for the Shiga Lakes and just seven for the Dragonflies. That did, that was one of the main reasons why they came away with the victory. They took good care of that basketball. Plus 20 in the points in the paint, 50 to 30. And here are the numbers that we talked about individually a while ago. So it says there 28 points for Hamilton, 24 for Blackshear. Nine rebounds for Moriyama, they say, but it says, or my ledger says, nine rebounds for Hamilton. Okay, check that. That's a scoring. Unlike what happened in the half, so these are the top scorers. So 28 points for Hamilton, 9 for Moriyama, and 8 for Ravenna. On the other side, 24, 14, and 10 for Blackshear, Mayo, and Terashima. Here was a graphic I was expecting. 28 points for Hamilton, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists for Ravenna in a losing effort. While the winners will be led by the 24 of Blackshear, 11 rebounds also for Kenny, and Kenny also has... Five assists, one final graphic, head to head matchup, which actually really didn't really turn the outcome or the tide in favor of one or the other. But Terashima, really the starting point guard, led by example, came up with 10 points, but he also had four assists. The Hiroshima Dragonflies win this one 88 to 73. That's going to do it here for our coverage. In behalf of everybody from the B League, thanks so much for joining us. Till the weekend, take care. Have a good night ahead, everybody. God bless.